constantly hitting this wooden thing. Bang, 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 bang. As soon as you get to a human being, well, their arms aren't quite uh, as solid and your arms aren't quite as forgiving. I mean, it's action, not words. Def Leppard taught me that. They also taught me photography, but that's another thing. talk a bit about the wooden dummy. As you can see, this is in a traditional looking mukjong. Uh, the dimensions are different. The arms are longer than usual, which means that your, uh, your trapping has to be that much tighter because we've got that distance to cover. With junk dummies, their arms are a lot smaller. The good thing about it is it's nice and portable. I can move it around and take it with me. Most mukjongs or most dummies, whether they be kung fu dummies, Filipino martial arts dummies made out of wood. He doesn't have much give like most dummies. So again, people will always say to you, a dummy, ha, a dummy doesn't hit back. Now, unless they're quoting Bolo Young and trying to be uh, trying to be macho about it. It's it's not for sparring, it's for developing attributes. It's for conditioning, whether it be forearm conditioning, getting your stance right, getting your angles, getting your timing just right, getting Getting that coordination down. A lot of people have a lot to say about trapping arts. That's fine. We're not going to practice on a dummy so that we can get in the ring with somebody. Practicing, sparring, self-training, developing skills. What a heavy bag is to a boxer, which is to a trapper. Obviously, people who are trapping are also practicing on heavy bags as well. So I don't know how that... With the dummy, we can practice all sorts of things. We can practice our strikes, trapping. We can practice our weapon skills, whether it be using a simple pen. Let me give you some information on where Mr. Dummy came from. Well, the Muk Yan Zhong, as, as it's called in Cantonese, used in a lot of Southern Chinese Kung Fu styles. All the variations to Wing Chun, whether it be your Hong Kong based Wing Chun, your Chinese Wing Chun, or the controversial Wing Chun styles that are out there. They aren't really Wing Chun. Wing Chun Dummy has about 108 techniques, steps, whatever you want to call them. You don't have a training partner around. This is always going to be there. He, he doesn't complain. He's also used with uh, Jeet Kune Do, some Filipino martial arts. You might call it a, uh, a training aid. It's been called many things. You know, people have made them out of steel. I know that my first dummy I constructed out of plumbing pipes. Filled it up with liquid nails. It, it helped with conditioning. Now, there's one thing that people tend to forget about conditioning, whether it be conditioning your legs for, uh, for kickboxing, conditioning your arms with trapping. I mean, what you're doing is you're, you're constantly hitting, you're hitting these sections of your body on something that's equally as hard or, you know, even harder. Pieces of wood, pieces of metal, pieces of plastic. To keep up your calcium, because if you're not getting enough calcium, then you're causing fractures to yourself. And you know what, in the long run, probably not, not, not such a good thing. Calcium supplements, drink lots of milk, be smart about your trainings. Once you've caused yourself an injury, once once something's not 100% with you, well, your training's gonna suffer. And who needs this shit creeping up on them when they get older? I know with myself, more and more injuries start to uh, start to pile up. They pile up kind of like three stooges trying to get through a door. I mean, I've got injuries that I can't even recall how I got them. With Jeet Kune Do dummies, they've usually got a modified sort of neck or head. A lot of those are wooden, and again, being Jeet Kune Do, they branch out into other arts and apply them to the dummy. Choi Li Fat has a dummy, different configuration of arms, of course. You know, we can approach the dummy any which way that we want to. Now again, conditioning, you're really gonna solidify your arms. They become like steel. And on many occasions, I've uh, had examples of, of people who have, who have hurt themselves with the, uh, the degree of conditioning that you eventually get. Now you can imagine, you know, constantly hitting this wooden thing, Bang, 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 bang. As soon as you get to a human being, well, their arms aren't quite uh, as solid and your arms aren't quite as forgiving. So the harder that you go on the dummy, the harder you can go on a person. And well, obviously, that's a good thing.